Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And to be very honest, guys, I know it's been so long since I've posted a YouTube video. I think it's almost been a month. And finally, I'm back with a very special video in which I'll be telling you guys what I do if I would get a chance to restart my coding journey all over again. And to be very honest, this is the roadmap I wish someone gave me when I started coding. Because if you're new to coding or if you are already a beginner in coding, this video will save you a lot of time, frustration, and energy. I promise that. Alright, so the first thing that I'll do is start with the right programming language because I think that is what you know make me waste my a lot of weeks in the starting because i was really very confused between what language should i start with i was confused between javascript java python and then i come up with this result that i should start with html and css and to be very honest guys this these languages were really good for me to start now here comes the second thing that i would start you know learning from small things because in starting i just try to learn all at once but that is my biggest mistake that i've done and i don't want you guys to do this mistake and actually my my mind just goes blank and i just don't know what to code and this really you know leads to frustration and you know it, it was not a good experience anyway so i would just recommend that you should go and you should start from small projects when you start to code people would say you that you know to do lists and calculators are something ai can also make it yes ai can definitely make it but if you're not strong in basics you cannot even understand the code that ai generated for you or a color generated app these apps would really tells you how things work at backend and you really understand how all the pieces fits together and here comes the third thing that is start building projects from day one i think we all go through this that we are not ready enough to start or to build any project but trust me you start making project and you're ready for that project now here comes the fourth thing that is consistency i know we all go through this that we are not really consistent enough in starting and to be very honest consistency doesn't mean that coding for eight hours it means coding for 30 minutes every day even 30 minutes works you can start with 30 minutes and then you know increase timing and you you will definitely you know be consistent with this you know with this habit and here comes the very last thing and the most important thing that is track progress because if you're tracking progress like how to track progress you can just you know when you're learning to code you just have to track a progress like even you can start a blog post or you can just you know write it in your personal diary but yeah these were the things that i would do if i had to restart my coding journey again and since i've started and i cannot restart it so i want you guys to follow all these things um and yeah also guys i was just baking today because it's like you know seven in the evening evening it's evening time and i am just going to bake a cake for myself with tea so i want you guys to come along with me so let's go